Um, during the war, when the Germans came to Greece, we had a, our a, a, a real name before, and then before, after that, they, we kept a different name in order to be hiding, not to be, reveal our true identity to, uh, so the Germans can catch us. So the name from the beginning in Greece, my name was Moises Batinos. That's how my name is registered in Greece. And during the war, the, name, uh, f the family name became uh, Avierinos. Avierinos means uh, the beginning of the day when the sun comes out, the dawn. And sun come, sunrise? Sunrise, yeah. Oh, okay. Sunrise, yeah. And but me, me, I'm a little bit of a Talk in English. Talk in English because okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So this is this is our name during the occupation of the Germans in Greece. And uh, what happened is when the Germans I was very young when the Germans came. And uh, we were hiding in Athens. And, uh, How old was you and you? Okay. I was I was uh, at that time when the Germans came in 1941. I was only uh, eight year old. And, and I was eleven. Yeah, and uh, the Germans came. We went to hiding, and then the Germans told us, "Don't worry, we're not going to harm you. You know, we're not going to." nothing to you, so we came back and you stay in our own home. And, uh, and we're talking about, about Piraeus. No, this is Piraeus who was uh, born, my sister was born. But you live, when I was born already, we moved to Athens. Okay. We live in Athens. We all place. Born, except my older sister, she was born in Athens. Four of us were born in Piraeus. Okay. And, but when I was like six years old, we came to Athens. We live in Athens. Okay. Whatever. So actually, during the war, I mean, I mean, it was actually in uh, in uh, Athens. Yes. Yeah, Athens. 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 Yeah. 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 And uh, around uh, Pesach time in 1944, the German says, come to our synagogue, we're going to give you matzot and all that stuff. Liars. And then my, you have to be, let's say, from 15 year old to, um, to 55, 60. So my, my father, he went to the synagogue together with my uncle, the, the younger brother of my mother. His name was Isaac, and my father was Salomon. But you know, the young, the brother was uh, Medini from the side of my mother. Mm -hmm. So that day, you know, instead of giving matzah, they, they circle all around the Germans and they caught all the Jewish people and they put him, uh, you know, away in Athens. And uh, they, that time they came to, uh, it was a, a rumor in my my uh, Hebrew school in Athens, and they told us that they, they, your parents got caught, you go home right away, which we did. All the children, they were sent home. So my mother was waiting for me downstairs in the building, and uh, my sister, Esther, and uh, Rita. So when I came home... Did you have any sisters and brothers except... Uh, except, yes. Okay. How many sisters and brothers? Well, the, Four sisters I have all together. Mm -hmm. One sister, her name is Tamo, she was uh, in jail, in German jail, because she was with the resistance in Athens. Mm -hmm. And they caught her, you know, 
they, they did some sabotage in Athens to make hard time for the Germans. So as he was only 17 year old. The rest of the people, they were more than 80 year old, they were executed in the, in the trial. My sister, because she was only 17, it was a German law, they sent her for 50 years, 15, to Germany, to jail. So she went away in 1942-43 to Germany. And then we left away three sisters, Rita, Katie, and Esther, and B, the last one. So when they came, the Germans, to catch, to, to catch, to catch us in my house, um, we see them coming down from the hill, you know, like a 500 meters away. The, the, the policemen, Greek policemen, or the Gestapo, they come in towards that. So when they see them come, we didn't want towards them because they were, th they would know that we were Jewish because we were carrying things, like running away from the house. So instead of going this way, we went the other way, around the corner, and then escape. Then uh, escape to means and I went to some friends that my parents knew and stayed for the night or maybe a couple of nights, I don't remember. And then from then from house to house we were hiding in Greece. No, we went to the park. Huh? We went to the park. To the park? Which park? The park. So we went not far from the house. But you didn't sleep in the park? No. No, that's what park. I say. I don't give you details well, you know, in the way. I say you went to, to sleep someplace, you know. So that was very hard for us, you know. And um, we have, don't have no father anymore, he was caught. Only my mother and the sisters and me. So one sister, like I mentioned before, she went to Germany. So from there, it was a lot of different places that we were hiding in Athens, and then went to Piraeus. Because he knew a family that, uh, help us to get this uh, house, to stay in the house in the meantime till the, the Germans go away. It was already 1944. As I mentioned before, my father was caught in Pesach time, like April. So now we had, were hiding this house, me and my mother. Esther was in different place hiding, and Katie, the other sister, hiding in different place. Only me and Rita, which is the older one, and my mother, we were hiding. No, I was also with you and my mother and Rita. Sometimes. For, okay. so, for a certain times, certain time. Then they found a house in uh, Athens, and I stay with this family, Greek family, mm -hmm. Catholic, till the end yeah. of the war. Okay. All right, so, so then, then yeah. one day, they came, the German uh, officer came and told us, this house over here, you have to, by tomorrow, have to be evacuated, we need the house. Because the Gestapo was right in front. They didn't know that they were Jews. The, across the street was the Gestapo, headquarters. So I have to leave. So he, he knew a family, a Jewish family, hiding about a mile away from where. So he went to that place and asked him to take us in. They didn't want so much because you know, it would be too crowded and all that. Finally, they took us in, you know, and me and my mother and uh, Rita, my sister, the ones who went to the concentration camp, they were hiding that place. But somehow, somebody snitched from the Greek people, and after a few weeks that I was there, we were then in that house in Piraeus, they came to the Gestapo with the police, German, uh, Greek police, and they came and caught everybody. And that night happened to be, that day, happened to be, I happened to be home with my mother, and the other family had two boys, the same age like me, about. How old was you? Just uh, huh? I, At that time I was 1943, I was 11. And you? 44, I'm sorry. Uh, I was 1942, I was 12. Well, okay. I was born 1930. Okay. I'm talking about 1944. Okay. Okay. So, so Okay, so they, uh, the, at that time they came, uh, uh, I was not home that time. Why I was not home? Me and the other children, my age, 11, about 11, we were going in Piraeus and uh, selling candy, selling all kind of things. Cigarettes, huh? Cigarette candies, you know, to make some 
needed money in order to um, to support themselves. Right. That's why that was because my, that saved my life because I was not home. So I, I, I went home very late that day, like nine o'clock. Me and the children, we came back. So we came back, we knocked the door, nobody was home, nobody answered. So a neighbor, it was dark already, a neighbor came and said, you better go away. Because if you can, they might come back, the Germans, we catch them. They caught everybody today. About three hours ago, they caught everybody and took them away. And you don't stay anymore over here. And uh, what they do now in the middle of the night, I remember a Greek family that they live in nearby. So me and the other children we went to, to them. Her name was Katina Peraki, that lady. She was already in the uh, late forest. And she was married, tempor uh, recently married to the new husband. And they had three children. One uh, son, his name was Dionysius, and then another daughter, Zuzu, and another younger daughter, Maria. So they took us in, you know, they took me in, I slept on the roof, and the other two children they took in, in the neighbors, and they, was, they were, they slept by the neighbors. So what happened? We stayed for a while, you know, and then uh, they were afraid, they were gonna catch us. Because they were neighbors, they saw us, you, you know, the neighbors could snitch. So and they, they, we, they kept us over there and we stayed. And me in that house with the Katina Peraki and uh, the other children to a different house. And also we had that time we were getting bread from coupons in Greece. Bread it was a very important to survive. So I had the uh, coupons. And the other children have coupons for bread. So because of that, they kept them in that family in order to get bread every day with the coupons. Like ration, rations. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we stay over there in that house. Uh, I stay with the Katina Peraki, the husband, the children. And that was still, uh, ah, after that was, uh, the Germans, the, the British came to bomb Piraeus because Athens was not allowed to bomb Athens because there were Acropolis, you know, all monuments in Athens, but they didn't come to bomb the British, but they wanted to, to yeah. bomb the, the yeah. Germans. So they came to Piraeus, they were allowed to bomb him. So he ran away to Athens, like refugees in the state. They had to, uh, families, they had to accept us like refugees, you know, to stay in the same, in their own houses. So for a while we were there in Athens, and then they came, we came back to Piraeus again, after they stopped the bombing, the British. And uh, I stayed there till uh, my sister, uh, my older sister came from Germany, the one I mentioned she was in jail, and then the other one, she survived the concentration camp, my sister Rita, the one she was caught with my mother, and she went to work, my mother went to her death in uh, Auschwitz. So when they came back, I was a young boy, still 11 year old. So they, they, they took care of me, my sister, she was already, she had a boyfriend, my older sister, Stamo, and then she got married. Very short time she got married. And then uh, I, I went with them to Salonika, or he had his house before the war, the husband. His name was Isaac Mevorach, the name of her husband. So we stay, I stay with them, and uh, quite a few years, till I uh, went to Israel in 1949. And my sister had a similar story, but she would add something. Yeah, similar story, yeah. So for how long uh, this, this lady, yeah. for how long did she hide you? I mean, she helped us, you know, all the time that you were, you know, hiding and all that. No, no, and then you, after you that, stay with them. you stay, 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 stay. stay. I stay. That, that was already August '43 till uh, '44. At the end of '44, '43 mm -hmm. and '44. Yeah. And did she, she did she give you food and everything? Oh yeah, she, they gave us. Uh, of course, I was living by her, despite all the dangers that. Mm -hmm. 
They could, uh, if and they catch him, they will go. No, 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 okay. no, 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 she was hiding. Like, okay, okay. okay. So they, uh, they gave me food, and then uh, the husband had, uh, in the port of Piraeus, had a coffee shop. So I used to go over there to help him, you know, take care of the customers, you know, mm -hmm. to, to bring coffee to them, you know, things like this. Yeah. They taught me how to do things, you know. And then they sent me to school also with different names. Of Yerinos, I went to day school, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they took care of me very well, you know. And mm -hmm. the, the, despite the, the economic uh, situation, the, it was not so great, you know. They didn't have a lot of money. Still, they took me in, you know, and all that. And uh, I met them after the war, you know. I went to, to them, you know, with my wife, and they met, we met them. And later on, uh, one of uh, the oldest child he came to me in New York. Mm. He stayed a few months with us, and we went yeah, a few met, times to. You're not talking about after the after the war. After we came to United States. United States, States yes. Because I came to United in 1962 mm -hmm. from uh, from Israel. From Israel, yeah. From 1949 to 1962, where I met my wife in Israel, and uh, I'm a Greek and she's Moroccan in descent, you know, and we were very young, and uh, we had in Israel one son, uh, my oldest son, and then we came to the uh, United States, we have two more children. So we were together, three boys, Solomon, Michael, and uh, Rani, three boys. They all married, you know, they have, we have, uh, 17 uh, grandchildren now, and uh, five great-grandchildren. Mm -hmm. wow. yeah. It's a long story, yeah? It's a long story, it's a nice story. A yeah. long story, in my okay. yeah. yeah. You know, I don't wish that to any child in, in my in age, you know, to be alone to be and to be this. But I, I survived it, despite all the difficulties. Because that time we were more independent, you know. Mm -hmm. Children were not today children, we were. We survived even in the streets. Mm -hmm. We survived yeah. because we didn't have no choice. But I didn't have nobody to complain. Like today, the children, oh, I want this, I want that, I want a telephone, you know. Yeah. At that time I couldn't say nobody, I couldn't ask anybody. Mm -hmm. to yeah. All I wanted something yeah. to eat and place a roof over my head. So the, you know, you not spoil children that time. I know, I know. I, I mean, I heard all the stories all from, from, my, from my parents. You had the dog? Yeah, of course. My dog father dog. was in Buchenwald, oh. and my mother was in um, Theresienstadt. They survived? Yeah, they survived. They, 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 yeah. After the war, uh, actually they met after the war, they, they got married. That's why you're alive today. Yeah. Right. That's why you're alive. You're yeah. Alive. They, they met in Cafe, uh, Cyprus. Yeah, Cyprus. They got married there, and after that they, they came to Israel. Yeah. yeah. So uh, during my stay in Israel, of course, I was the Kibbutz Kibbat Brenner uh, for five years at least. And then from Kibbat Brenner, I went to the army in Israel, 1951 till 1954. And I was in the um, artillery division. Mm -hmm. So I served my time in Israel uh, as a soldier and then also as reserves the years after, you know, in, in the reserves. And I participated in the Sinai War. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. I would like you just to tell us more about the, the, the from 1943 to 44 when you, you were hidden. Most of it, what was the, the, the day, I mean, you, you woke up in the morning, what did you do? I mean, like more about oh, the, yeah. the, the, the period that you actually was but there, that was, uh, she was hidden in. Yeah, well, at the beginning I didn't go out of the house too much because uh, it was somebody can tell, uh, you know, what is this child doing? They, they can tell the German, the Gestapo. They were Greeks that they were taking money in order to bring Jews, Greek, you know, people that they, they were getting money from the Germans in order to bring in Jewish people. So that's why it was very hard, very dangerous. Uh, but later on, you know, that we saw there's no danger. Then I came out, you know, play with the children. I went to school and I went to work in the cafe that he has, like I told you, to bring him lunch to the her husband and also to stay a few hours to work over there. That's how, you know, but it was not so easy, you know, it was all the time is fear that they, they can catch me, you know. Yes. I couldn't say my true, my real name, you know. And it was not easy. Mm -hmm. But you know, 
But it will be in the thread too much. It will be louder. Okay, I'm sorry. I suppose you have to come right there. Yeah. Okay. I mean, they, I mean, they, I mean it's a nice story, you, you know, with parentheses. Well, we, said, I mean, my brother said this is short, but it wasn't. It was, it was, was I, I know. A few things, if you want to. Hmm? A few things that you want to add. No, I just want to say. We we said the story is short, but we really yeah, but it was uh, yeah. well. You can stay here in a couple of days. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. At least I, I I I stay alive in order to tell my story. A lot of small children like me, they didn't have the same luck, and they perished in the. In the I was so close to get killed too. If I only was not going out that day, my mother told me to go out also. She had like feeling. And I was staying with my mother. She said, no, go out with the other children. You go out, you can sell something. She said, no, so don't stay home. And I didn't want to. Finally, he said, no, you better go. Like he said, I had feeling, you know. And that's how, you know, otherwise if I would stay, 11-year-old child has no chance. Yeah. Go straight to my mother. To the to the crematorium. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, So just for how long did they hide you? I mean, well, I, I don't know exactly I mean, dates, you know, but no, but not dates. I mean, like the middle, the middle of August, you know, and forty-four. Yeah. This is for nineteen forty-four, and then forty-five became already my sister. Okay, 1945. Well, like about six, six months. No, the war ended 45. 45, yes. Yeah, 45. Yeah, 45. About a little bit more. Yeah. Little, 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 little bit more than uh, six months. Yeah. 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 Okay. I don't know if I wrote here because I didn't remember. But now that. Uh, yeah, no, but now you have all the highlights that, of course, we can write it down and dates. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's hear your story, Esther. Yeah. But as I said, my story is similar to my brother. Love. Similar to my brother. <clears throat> but I was also in Piraeus, hidden with my mother, my sister Rita, and my brother in that house. And after, somebody find me a house in Athens because my father wanted to spread all the family, not to be together. So they find my house in Athens, in, um, what was the name? Kekrubosaina. Kolonaiki? No, Kolonaiki. In Athens? In Athens, okay. And I stay with his family, Catholic. He was a lady with three daughters, very nice people. <coughs> So, and a uh, matter of fact, uh, the school was uh, that used to go, the high school, was nearby. So anyway, I have also a name, Christian name. My name was uh, Lula Vireno. And uh, that's what they used to call me. So they were a very nice people, they kept me. Of course, I didn't see it like this. I did also work in the house and everything. And um, but I used to go visit my mother every Sunday, where my brother was, in Piraeus every Sunday. There was a train that goes from Athens to Piraeus. Okay. It was an electric train. Electric. And um, I remember I used to go to to visit my mother. And my mother, she used to open the, and the door was a little bit uh, window. She used to open to see who was it, the fear, you know. Yes. Because across the street there were the Germans. By the way, by the way, did you have any documents on your Christian? I used name? to have the, uh, maybe I have it, maybe I have it, but not over here. I think maybe I have it. Maybe I have something, but yeah. uh, in New York. Like ID card. Yeah. ID card. I used to have yeah. it because. Yeah, just, I mean, my, yeah. the, the one With my the new father name. gave us, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I have to look. Yeah. That's really very important. 
Yes. So now the thing is surface now uh, Christos, Christos Latagnotu. This is the grandson of uh, the husband of one of the daughters, Maria, that I was in their house. I don't know if they are alive now. Yeah. But do I will ask the, now. Uh, do you have the address of the house? Both houses? I have the, the address. I know the address. You have the address? address? Like, no, but not the. I might have the address of the, the, of the, the people who live, you know, where they, they let us, because they used to live in different places. Then they moved out. Okay. Katina Peraki. They yeah, the, the house actually, that actually uh, you were hidden. You no, know, the house that was hidden, it was uh, separate. But I might have uh, the address. Pafsanil No, me neither. Pafsanil was in Peleus. Pafsanil, yes. I remember but, that. But then they moved to different To place. different houses. And now, uh, According to what Danny told me, that this young man, I don't think he's so very old, but it could be in his 40s. He's the grandson of the grandson of, the grandson of uh, Maria. Yeah, Maria. Maria was the daughter of uh, Katina Peraki, the one who took me. Mm -hmm. right? And uh, he, I don't know what the reason they know about him, but uh, probably his name surfaced, that's why, what I know. And uh, I would like to to give him some uh, honor, you know, to because mm -hmm. his family they saved my life. Yes. Excuse me. Allegra. I don't know if I see someone at home. I don't know if I talk. I don't know if I see my city. Yeah, I mean. I'll take also some pictures. I have some pictures. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So anyway, during the um, the war, my father took us all of us in uh, to hit in the whole family Kolonaki uh, house. I don't know. Sexual in Greece, in Athens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we stay over there. So, and my father is supposed to go every Friday to sign his name in the synagogue. Every Friday. But usually he used to, he wasn't going inside. He used to give his card to somebody else, and the notification to somebody else, and they used to sign. That day, they told my father, oh, don't be afraid. Nothing's going to happen. So my father went in the synagogue and signed his name. That day, the block... Yeah, but that time we were living in Athens, in our house. Yes. Nothing in Corona. Corona was a I little before. I said during the war. During yeah. the war. So they blocked the, the synagogue and they took everybody. My father and my uncle and everybody else. So... So we... we, we oh. We used to hide him in the colonial. What? Do you remember the, the what month was it? No. During forty four. Forty four. That's why my father he was obliged to come back because he had to go to work. Family he has to you know support the family. So that's why we we went back and my father went to the synagogue signed his name. And then they took my father my uncle. Now my mother, we, my brother said the story that uh, we left the house running, everybody took some clothing, and we went to this park to stay for a while, till um, the daughter of Kiria Katina that hit my brother, she came and she gave us this address in Pireus to stay over there. And we stay over there, and my brother and my sister and my mother, they stayed with them. And after a while, I went to Athens till the end of the war. So, what else you want to know? No, I mean, uh, your story, I mean, yes. it's so interesting. I'm sure it's a lot of things to say, but... Uh, Very interesting. Yeah. Okay. And after that, uh, oh. After the, the end of the war, um, I meet with my sister Katie. 
she also she was hitting some place in Athens, and we came back to the house. The house was empty because they used to leave um, people. Mm. They used to refugees. 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 And they took everything. The house was empty, and we stayed over there. Now we didn't have where to sleep. I was 15. My sister was 16 and a half. We went to my uncle's house. We used to live not far. We took a small bed that he used to have. The one that was caught in the window of my father. Yes. Yeah. And we uh, bring it to the house and we slept. It was small. My sister in the top and I'm in the bottom. Small bed, he slept both of them. And the house was empty. All of a sudden, somebody came, two people came, and they said that um, my sister Stamos is in life. And they saw this picture from where? From Italy. That was already the war over. Yeah. And they saw us a picture. These two people and, and in the middle my sister Stam. Now we find out that they, they were in life. My sister Stam she was in life. But she was in Italy. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. And then uh, so they told us that Stamos is coming soon. So after a while, she came, my sister Stamma, with the, with the boyfriend, Isaac Magora. And they got married. They have a wedding. Then, after a little bit, my other sister came from, uh, from Italy. That she was uh, in Germany. And concentration, concentration camp. camp. And she got the number. Rita. She survived, she really, that was a little bad. And now she came, and now we're all together very happy. And then my brother, you came too. Where? To the house. No? What house? Nothing. After the war. Yeah, a little bit. We stay. When yeah. my sister came from Germany, we stayed a little bit uh, in that house. But then I went with my older sister, Stamo, and then I went to Salonika. Yes. And so my, my sister, Stamo, she took my brother, and then she took me also. She was very, very nice, really. As soon as she got married, she took my brother and me, and we stayed like four, I stayed four, four years. five years. I stayed four years. Four. You, stayed you stayed longer. Stayed less. Yes. It was really a very, very nice system. And then we all sister, my brother, we were very close. We survived the war and everything until not too long, ten years ago, we were all together. Yeah. Okay. How did you find each other? How did you, after the war, how yeah. did you find each other? Oh, well, they came to the house. They were, my sister, she was in Athens, I was in Athens, and Katie, the other sister, was in Athens. But the other one, two sisters, they came from Germany. Mm -hmm. One as a, as a partisan, like it, against mm -hmm. Germany, her name is Tamo. The other one, Rita, she was in concentration camp, and they all survived. Okay, when the war was over, I met my sister Katie, because she was hidden over some place, and we came to our house. So our, in our house there were uh, these uh, refugees. Refugees, yes. So we went to the police, and we told them we went to the apartment uh, back. So the police took them out. And, uh, and then my sister Stamo and my sister Rita, they came from Italy. From Italy. And they came to the house. This way, all my. Well, then I also want to mention this: that uh, while we were uh, before the Germans caught us, we were in others in the house, everybody. But when they were bombarding the British Piraeus, they came refugees to Athens. Mm -hmm. So they, we have to accept people. Yeah, two young men in my house in Athens. Uh, there was an. Uh, the place was Thesion, the area, and uh, the street name Ilia Pulupulu 47. So they came with these refugees to live with us. They stayed a few months with us. Now later on, when we went to hiding again, when they caught my father, as I mentioned, so we ran away, these two young men, they snitched on where we are in Piraeus, and that's how he caught us. They, they, they went to Germany and said, these people live in such a place. Because they, they knew, they recognized, because they live in our house. They knew that we were Jewish. 
So they went to Germany, to Germans and told them, these people, they are Jews. So that's how they called my parents and the other family that lived in that they land. Yeah. Okay. We didn't say the story so no, no, no. professional. Of course, of course. It's not <laughs> so... No, it's good to edit that, you know. No. You know, uh, First of all... We never okay. talk about Jews. When I was this house, the nice people, this lady, and there were three dollars, all of them, we never discussed that I'm Jewish. I don't know if they knew, or maybe they knew. Yeah, but we never know. find out, we never find out. My, 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 my case, they knew that we yeah. were Jewish. And did you meet them after the war? Like in the yes. But then, after the end of the war, I told them I'm going to Israel. I said, you know, mm -hmm. I used to be said. But during the war, we never... They used to call me Lula Vierino, you know. Yeah. This way nobody hear a different name, you know. Of course. Of course. And, uh, as I said, I, I didn't sit over there. And just, uh, I was doing work in the house. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I would also I mention. Pay. No, of course, just uh, they save your life, you know. Yeah. But I want to mention also that in, a, in Israel there is a place, uh, Moshe, they call Tur Moshe. Moshe. It's in Atania. The Greek people they started this Moshe many years ago, and today there are only few Greek people. The rest, other people, came in now Moshe. So what happened? Um, because of uh, some people, they also wanted to um, recognize that uh, some Greeks, Gentile Greeks, they saved their life in Greece. They put the names, they make him a matseva, like what they call it, a, 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 a memorial a stone. Right, that, okay. That, that uh, inscribed the names of the name. in mm -hmm. Jules Because I have a friend in, in Athens, the name is. Uh, Bezos, uh, Bezos, Sabetai Bezos, and uh, somebody saved the life and the family. He knocked the door the time they were gathering the Jews. They have a time just to run away. He took him to his house. Okay. So uh, they have a natural Muse place. In, uh, like um, the, um, also names of the Jews that uh, Sfaradim. They have uh, stones with the names mm -hmm. engraved mm -hmm. and all that. And they come sometimes from Greece. They come in dignitaries, all Greek Gentile from the government, and also the rabbis and all that from uh, Athens, and to make a, a commemoration, to make, a, to give uh, speeches, or to, to make the university that these people mm -hmm. were saved, this and that. So, you, you so they recognize, they recognize you, about the Jews, the Greek, the Greek. that they saved. So, yeah. you want to write the name? Yeah, I'll write the name. Dimitra Nahmeri. 